assembly on replacement of the whole ink assembly for the H4 model printer. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, get a pair of glasses, um, gloves, clean syringe. You can see we already have the replacement uh, dampers and tubing system as well as the gator arm here. Uh, I have a pair of wire um, cutters because we're going to cut the tubing system. So we already gone ahead and removed the printer cover as well as unplug the printer, unplug the USB cable. Um, wear gloves of course and, and, and eye protection. So first thing I'm going to do is actually remove the bracket here. Pushing back. And set this bracket aside. So your dampers are going to be seated on the post. You're going to actually remove one damper at a time. Uh, make sure the ink bottle is lowered. You loosen up the ink lids as well and you see we lowered them to the side of the printer here. Loosen up and open up all the ink lids so that when you push the ink back there's no vacuum and the inks are pushed back evenly. So you're going to hold the damper upright and push air slowly through to the damper and you can see the ink flowing back through the lines all the way back to the ink bottles. You want to at least push two full syringes of air so uh, there's going to be some pockets or bubbles of ink that's fine just try your best to push all the ink back to the the bottles once that's done i wrap them up in like uh, a ziploc bag or even like a, a paper towel or something to uh, limit the amount of ink that's going to drip from it the gator track is held in with two foot screws we're going to remove them as well set the screws aside because we're going to use the same screws to mount the new arm to the printer. That's one, that's two. You'll find two more here at the side of the printer. So I'll move the tubes this side here so we can remove them. That's one and that's a secondary one. Once this is removed, since you don't plan on saving or reusing the ink tubes, we will actually just simply cut the ink tubing system. Now, <clears throat> you can cut it from whichever end you, you see that uh, there's, no, there's actually no ink in, in the line. So I'm actually going to cut it from this end right here. Once it's cut, of course, we're going to feed it through. So you can cut it from this end as well, it's totally up to you. I just cut it from the bottom end. Um, just feed it through here. I'm gonna remove the existing tubing system, just like that. Set this aside, this is the replacement. A replacement you just go in reverse now so first thing I'm going to do is mount it in grab the Phillips screw screws again mount the bottom in mount the top and what's important with the replacement is that <clears throat> you want to You want to make sure, one, the tubing system feeds right through here. So we're going to feed the tubing system through here again. And you want to be careful here. You can even go ahead and disconnect the, the cables as well to make it a little bit easier. If you find that's easier for you, that's perfectly fine. So I grab them and then I just route them through. There's no... Uh, method to this you're basically just pulling the tubing system through here and once that's done just pull all of them through just like that and you want to make them look a bit more organized and you're gonna, once it's all pulled through just put it wrap it into the tie wrap here and of course don't forget plug the plugs back in one that's for a capping station, that's two. So once that's in here, 
we're going to actually go back to the top here. And don't forget, I've only put one screw in, so let's go ahead and finish adding the rest of the screws. So that's two. There's a secondary one right here. And you notice that gator tracks all the way raised up, and I'll show you how to correct that as well. So once that's done, I'm going to start in order here by numbers. And don't forget, it starts from 1 through to 8. So that's 3. And what we want to do is arrange these so that there's enough slack, but there's a silicone part to the tubing system. And that silicone part is used to hold the dampers in place. So we'll start with number one. Gonna put it on the post, just like that. And proceed with number two. So you're gonna go in order. One, two, and so on until you get to number eight. And basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna put it on the post here and seat it. Number two. And we're arranging the cables as well, just like this. Number three, four, and so on. So if you find that uh, <clears throat> they're out of place, what we want to do is actually mount this back on here so that, and you, and you see here the reason why is that the silicone tubing is actually placed here to seat and hold the damper tubes in place. So I'm actually going to do that right now as well. That's four. And then you can go in order and feed this back here like that. Five. And you see here, if it, there's not enough tubing, you guys just got to pull some more through. And you want to make sure it, it actually looks even as well. If, it's, if it, there's too much pulled through, then of course just push it back. <coughs> and six and so on. So I'm just going to leave this aside because this is fairly straightforward. Once that's done, you're going to, and I'm just going to continue with the opposite end of it. So don't forget, after that's all lined up, you want to screw this and mount it in as well. Okay, but you want to make sure all the tubing's evenly, and don't forget the, the bracket that holds down the dampers as well to screw that in place. So let's go to the opposite end here. Now, what you want to do is, you see that I I cut the tubing system, but you also want to place the ink bottles in the same order as they were before. And so I'm just going to show you an example here of just an empty bottle that you would receive as well. And what you're going to do here is actually measure how far that tubing system goes to the bottom of the bottle. You do not want it touching the bottom, but you want it, I would say about um, like that. Because when the, when the tubing system moves, you want to give it some slack. It's going to move around as well, just like that. So you want it actually almost about touching the bottom. So I'm going to feed this through. There's two O-rings. going to push that in and then slide the O-rings in place. And also you can look at the inside the bottle to make sure that um, it's almost touching the bottom as, the bottom as well. And that's it. Once that's done, seat that back inside the the basket in order as well you can go ahead and zip tie these together just make it look a little bit neater zip tie here you can zip tie here as well just make it look neat just like how it is originally and uh, that's the whole replacement of the ink system